have this misconception that algebra is just a bunch of numbers, letters, a bunch of confusing symbols. But it doesn't have to be confusing. It's really a very simple thing. The word algebra is actually an Arabic word. Way back in the 8th century, in Baghdad, Muhammad al-Khwarizmi developed this way to keep track of a bunch of different calculations. That's right, in Baghdad. You see, Baghdad was a very different place than what we think of Baghdad as being today. Baghdad was not a place of war and turmoil. It wasn't a place where people walked around bombing each other or tanks rolled down the street. As one of the oldest cities in the world, sitting right on the Tigris River, it was the center of the academic world, especially for science and mass discoveries. It was a culturally rich, vibrant, beautiful city where religion and science were closely tied together. Many of the world's most important discoveries, yes, like algebra, came from Baghdad. So Muhammad al-Khwarizmi, a Persian, and a very, very smart man studying astronomy, geography, mathematics, moved from Persia to study at the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. And his timing couldn't have been better. You see this new positional number system was spreading its way through the Arabic world, coming from India. Arabs were taking this number system and making it their own. al Khwarizmi is one of the major reasons we still call our numbers Arabic numerals. And Arabic numerals are still being used by most of the world today. It was while working and studying at the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, where al Khwarizmi wrote his most famous work, translated into English as the Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing. The word Algebar in the title of this book is where we get our word Algebra. Sometimes this translates as Completion and Balancing. Sometimes this translates to English as Cancellation and transposition. You see, algebra is really nothing more than a system of math designed to move things around and cancel them out with the goal of making it simpler. And balancing equations in order to find missing values. not meant to be complicated. In fact, just the opposite is true. The whole point is to make things simpler. To rewrite expressions in different ways that are the same thing, but might look different, might look simpler. And if I just follow a few simple rules, to keep things balanced while I'm moving all these things around and canceling things out and simplifying. I have a great, simple way to find unknown values. That's all algebra is.